Hello and welcome to Beam NG. This is a new physics game being developed by two programmers and two artists. And basically it's a softbox physics game. Uh, I know this may not look like a lot, but the main uh, idea behind this is to get the physics as realistic as possible while, um, you know, making aesthetics uh, a bit of a... Oh, I almost nailed that jump then. A bit of a, uh, a secondary... Um, secondary part of this um, so yeah as you can see I've just attempted that jump and ripped off my rear wheels this is just the beauty of this game I'll just reset my truck here and it is the most realistic game I've played ever put it that way because it's uh, you know it's got the main idea is is the physics over anything else um, you can see I've got a pickup here and this is just the the preset model that is built but there's actually lots and lots of models you can use in the actual alpha trial whereas this is the demo and we've only got one we can actually just modify it slightly so I'll just take you through a few of the things we've got here so there's lots of different different little bits like bumpy just bumpy <laughs> bumpy bits and the pokey out bits and sharp bits and soft bits and all sorts so like over here we've got uh, some rumble pads. These are actually tested on cars before they are actually sold. Um, if you've ever watched American Chopper, uh, they took a Dodge Ram around one of these tracks once on there. That was quite good. Um, so over here we've got like a pebbly, stony section. This should get through okay. Um, but this is only configured to be a normal pickup. And we can actually change that in a minute and use a 4x4. Or even a sport. Oh, that's a bumper. <laughs> Never mind. Because if we try and go in this bit, we've got no chance. Yeah, there you go. It's already stuck. So, let's reset. Um, but, th this place is humongous as well. Because here is a demo. There's a lot of things you can do. Oh, what's this over here? I've never seen this. Ignore the floor. That's not really priority with this and they just obviously want to con concentrate on the physics being shown but that's like a little rally stage oh yeah we're not going to make it through here though oh what what it's pitch black are you serious I never even saw this before glitching out there a little bit don't worry about that oh what is this this is Halakul Oh, balls. Damn it. Um, well, we need a different vehicle for that. So what we can actually do is go into the interface, which is Control w as standard. And you can change everything on here. You can take everything off, put anything on. Wheels, parts, doors. But I've actually got here an off-roaded one that I've made. It's got no bed on it. But you need to worry about the bed of the truck. Um, it's got sport wheels, off-road wheels rather, um, off-road tyres, it's got independent suspension uh, let me just give you a little, little little show that it's pretty solid a lot better than the original with these modifications on um, but let's have a look at this I know that there is another one of these here somewhere and that's just in like an, an outdoors bit but I didn't know there was an underground one. That's why cool. Let's have a look. Let's go around. It's down this way somewhere. But there is a boundary wall on this. Eventually at the end. But... Ooh! Not good. Wow. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to stick that. Can we drive over it? Oh yeah. What's, over, what's on this side though? Not a lot. I've got no steering, hardly. Ugh. There you go, it's just like a... You can get back in if you want to... Whoa! <laughs> that was weird. Right, let me just reset. So if you do a normal reset, which is you press R, it will take you back to the main starting point. But if you do Control R... Well, that's not right. That was Control E. Um, yeah, you do control R, 
it will reset you at the current point so you don't actually have to uh, go all the way back to where you were. Oh, so that's good. You can actually drive out. So this is the bit I was on about that I originally found. Um, let's have a little look at this. But it's a... This is just an outdoors kind of off-roady area. This is the one I remembered seeing. So yeah, you can actually see that suspension working. Independently moving. Go down here. But yeah, there's uh, only f this model of car available in the demo, but if you do buy the, the Alpha access, it's literally like £9, pounds, um, then you can actually get into more different cars and you actually got proper environments to drive. You haven't got this kind of white floor um, and you can change different engines and all sorts of bits in it. That's fantastic, so maybe... Uh, I might get that at some point. Uh, we've got these big tubes as well. Over here is this kind of like ring road. I suppose you're supposed to try and drive around. Not sure of its main purpose, but it's here. It's a bit trippy actually to watch when you drive around. Oop. Actually, full speed right now, so I'm not gonna manage to hold this one. Urgh, no, <laughs> eh, eh. stop break dancing. Get back on your wheels, you mother chucker. Right, reset. <laughs> wow, okay, uh, so let's go have a look at these big tubes. Oh wow, it's so crap. Hey, well, let's go into the sports version for the minute. I made sports stripped. It's not even got any bumpers, no glass, it's got no doors, nothing like that, so it's really quick. Wow, oh, it should be really quick. So yeah, look, these are the two tubes. That left one's impossible to drive around. Um, but this one, I've actually managed to do a few loop -de loops in here, so let's you try it. Oh, there's a big thing in the way. Damn it. Revert my rear suspension, I think. That's fine. Continue. Right, let's try this. Oh, did I make it? Oh, no. Um, there's also different camera modes if I press back. You can see them here. This would be actually better to drive like this while I'm in here because the camera's a bit weird. Let's see if we can do it all the way. Yes. Oh, yeah, here we go. Now we're rolling. Once you've done it once, it's so easy. You literally continue. So you've got a hood view, you've got a side view, and then a view like this, but the camera spazzes out when you do it like this. So that's lots and lots of laps we've done on this. I don't know which end's which, though. Oh, that's the ceiling. That's the floor, so... I'm going to try and carefully bring myself back down. There we go. Perfect. Right. Out the other end and into that dark tunnel. That was fantastic. Ah, uh, so it's over here. How did I miss this the first time? I don't understand. Ooh, this is a bad idea in a sports car. Well, not a sports car, but a sports version, I should say. Right. So, I've tried this once in the sport. Didn't go too well, so let's change into the. Uh, off-road into the off-road one. Oh wow it's spazzing out right here we go can't even get through the gap why does it go so dark all of a sudden wouldn't do that would it the fact that I've got no lights doesn't help either um, I've rolled I'm pretty sure I've rolled there uh, let me Add some lights on. Uh, <laughs> bumper. Front bumper. 
Yes. Where's the mirrors? I don't know. Tell you what, let's load. Ah. Uh, this. I'm I'm a little bit upset that there's no lights. Ugh. I'm just keep rolling when I reset as well. Brilliant. Now it's frozen. Is it? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it's frozen. <laughs> I can't reset. Ah. Uh, um. Well, there you go. Good job. Everyone, um, proper stopped. It's proper frozen now. So <laughs> that was a quick look at BeamNG. Uh, grab yourself a download in the link in the description. Have a little play around with it yourself. Um, yeah, it's, obviously there's going to be a few bugs with it still, um, as it's only been in development for a little while. But yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get some more footage at some point when it decides to respond and maybe we'll actually have a go at the, the full game at some point. So thank you for watching this, hope you enjoyed and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.